All right, we got another advice segment with Alan Yaskovich. He is our primary uh, go-to videographer, filmmaker, uh, owner of Voyage Visual, a great partner of us at Ethic. And we've collaborated on a lot of things. And for this advice segment, I actually want to talk to the creatives or the people that want to get into advertising, filmmaking, or even filmmaking in general, because although he's a humble guy, he's done a lot. He's worked on shows and movies and like uh, like commercials for Mini Cooper and Netflix stuff and all these kind of things. He's done a big scale as well as, you know, localized stuff too. So Alan's got some good insight into this. If I am just graduating college or doing a career shift and I want to break into filmmaking in the advertising industry, first off, how did you do it? And then what's your advice for somebody that wants to do it? That's a great question, Jeff. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways to break into this um, very strange industry that that we're in. It's a it's not a very linear path like some careers, uh, you know, doctor, lawyer. That's it's not it's not traditional, right? Um, so there's a lot of different ways in different companies you can you can grow with. You know, I, I think um, if if you got into communications or marketing early on in your say your university your university studies, you might transition into uh, an agency of sorts of being a really junior person, or if you can break through that door, that's one way, understanding the agency world, but more of the kind of the filmmaking world, um, you know, it's, there's a lot of freelancing going on and you can go and, and go the freelancing route and you can learn a job, you can start as a production assistant, you can you know, work your way up through various departments. If you like camera lighting, you can assist. Um, you really have to knock on doors and and reach out to companies that you may want to work for. You can also reach directly out to a production company and say, "Hey, I would love to work with you. Here's what I've done." Um, that that's one way. Um, you have to find that the production company has has an opening or an internship program because that's often um, a problem if they have too many interns so inter doing an internship is great um, we're hoping to offer something something like that in the future uh, as we grow as well and um, you know as you as you learn you can also just pick up a camera and start making things uh, there's so much social content out there um, you could go out and reach out to businesses. I know a couple of filmmakers, young filmmakers that come to me and, and they're like, I, I don't have, there's no one's hiring right now. And, and I'm like, you have a camera, go to a local business. You can make a couple hundred bucks, you know, I mean, coming right out of school and making a couple hundred bucks a, a week on the side is, is a great way to start. Yeah. So the advice that I'm pulling out of that, and I would actually hundred percent agree is two things connect with people, talk to people that are in the industry and ask them um, what opportunities are there and be willing to do the grunt work and, and just get on set so you can learn. Because in in a lot of aspects, not just creative side of the ad, ad world, people like to see that you've got experience in something, especially when there's a lot on the line of creative or you know, if you're going on the opposite end of the coin, the media side of things, so things are taken care of and taken care of well. So showcasing that and connecting with people. And then the other thing that I always tell people is the same thing. If you've got a camera and if you've got a phone, don't care what it is, doesn't, doesn't matter. If you have something that records, figure out a way to create something to build your own portfolio. Never, ever wait for somebody to give it to you when you have a skill set that you can do on, on your own. Uh, so I think that those are the two things of advice to kind of concentrate it. Uh, be my little ad guy of taking a complex thing and put it into a 30 second kind of bit. Would you agree? Is that good? Is that good advice? Yeah, no, totally. And I, I, that was a two part question. I didn't answer the second part of how did I get started? Oh, yeah. And I went more of the traditional route. I, I got more right out of school or during school, I got into broadcasting, remote broadcasting and doing camera work for, for live TV shows, being a utility, a production assistant, a runner, and a camera guy. And so I used to run around and do camera for, for Steelers and, and uh, Penguins games. And so from there, I transitioned more into the single camera 
style of work, commercial work that we know of, and um, and just worked in lighting. And I, I I pursued lighting for a year or two, uh, and then I got a a job after that. After I built my reel up, I was able to get a corporate job doing video, and then soon after that, I I parlayed that into, you know, once I knew how to produce, I parlayed that into my own business. And um, from there, it, you know, took all that experience and, and went from there. But, but it's, you know, there's so many different routes. You can, you can be a camera guy for a news company. And I, maybe that's not, I wouldn't suggest, maybe suggest that if you're more into the advertising realm, but um, yeah, there's so many different routes. Yeah, no, for sure. And then because we did mention as one of the advice segments, um, and you don't know, I'm going to ask this question, but uh, I know the answer to it. Um, it the one of the pieces of advice is connecting with people in an industry. If someone drops you a line, would you connect with them? Or yeah, for the most part, I <laughs> there's actually someone I need to respond to right now. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, most definitely reach out. Um, I could jump on the phone for five, 10 minutes. I think rather than, um, you know, if, if you're going to send me an email, say, hey, I would love to talk to you on the phone, because it's easier for me to, to really just take five to 10 minutes to give you some advice. Um, you know, I can also respond to your email, but uh, I, I like talking to people. I like, um, you know, hearing their passion. I can truly understand who you are, uh, rather than just being maybe a voiceless or, or faceless person. Mm -hmm. I think hearing someone's tone and their voice and their excitement is, it brings me joy as well, so. Yeah. So how would somebody get in touch with you? Uh, website, uh, you email? Me, yeah. Uh, info at voyagevisuals.com and uh, I'll get the email. And um, yeah. Yeah. I would, I would love to hear young, young people coming into the industry. I'd love to help anyone I can. Awesome. Thank you so much, Alan. I really appreciate it. We're going to have you on for a couple more segments as well. And, uh, and you know, I, it's, it's always good to, to give back to people that are trying to get in the industry as well as, it's, it's a selfish play for us too, just to, to let you know, five, 10 minutes now could mean a job later or that he stumbles across somebody that he just happens to need right now uh, too. So it's always good to connect and uh, no matter what you do in this case, filmmaking is what we're talking about. And, uh, and we'll see you next time on this advice segment.